Evil rode abroad in these early days of ignorance and superstition. And as the night winds howled in the black night outside the walls of the inn, the innkeeper solemnly poured out a pot of devil's brew, a pot of ale for his satanic master. This is the devil's cup. What we do every night, we, to appease the devil, we fill this with ale, leave it on the doorstep, and each night there's some missing. We hope it's to appease the devil and to make sure that he doesn't bother us and to keep the spirits here happy. But we've other theories. Some of the local <laughs> vagrants seem to have got wind of it. We hope it's for the devil, but she is if it's for the people of Abergavenny. Well, the story of the spirit is it's alleged to go back to 1110, and it was certainly a courtroom until 1640 upstairs. There's no surprise within these walls that are three feet thick there must be some amazing experience absorbed in the purveying atmosphere of the spirit uh, we claim to be the oldest in, and I'd like us to claim to be the most comfortable and happiest in the world. <laughs> <laughs> My wife Sharon and I first realised the Spirit Inn was available in 2005. It's a wonderful pub and we enjoy very much being a custodian of such a beautiful place. The innkeeper might also have left a jug of puka on the Spirit doorstep when the last of the customers disappeared into the night. This was to appease the devil or mischievous spirits of the darkness. Shakespeare is thought to have got his idea of pup of Midsummer Night's Dream from the drink of the devil, a puka. <laughs>